I'm going to make this video quick. Today we're going to be disabling TPMS sensors on your Ford vehicle. This is a 2015 Ford F-150. It's going to apply for pretty much everything that you can run on Forescan in these year ranges. Once you have the Forescan software installed, you're going to need to do an extended license. There's also YouTube videos on that, so we'll keep this short. I'm not going to go into that. What you need to do is uh, once everything is connected, we're going to go down here to the uh, configuration side of things, and it's going to look like this. Uh, if it shows this sitting right here where it shows the log, you want to click over here, configuration and programming. The first thing you want to do is uh, if you have a newer truck, like a 15 and up, you're going to have to go into two different things. The first one's body control module, and you want this one, not the keypad ones, and you want to stay away from the as-built stuff. Um, and then after that, we're going to go down to the IPC configuration. But the first one right here, module configuration. Once it's highlighted, you're going to go ahead and click play. It's going to load in and you're going to have all these settings. Now there's a lot of really cool stuff to do in here. I suggest you save this information if you're going to start messing with things. Um, but anyway, if you don't, if you don't want to save it, take pictures at least. So what we want to do is this one right here, scroll down to TPMS and it says TPMS additional change required. So it says enabled, that is your TPMS system. After you have it selected, click edit and we're going to go to disabled. Okay, once that is done, then we're going to click right and that is going to disable the TPMS sensors. But after we do that, there's a note right here, additional change required in IPC. So that's your instrument uh, instrument panel cluster right here. So as soon as we turn this off, it will turn the faults off, but it's a good idea to go ahead and disable it in the cluster too, so it's not looking for that information. So we'll do right. Gonna have some beeps and stuff. Gonna ask you to turn off and back on. All right, there we go. TPMS sensor warning light is off. I do suggest you go ahead and finish it uh, Finish it out, though. You want to finish out all the programming. After that's done, hit stop service down there. Then go back over to configuration and programming, and let's go down to the IPC. We're going to do module configuration. Click play. And then we want to scroll all the way down. There's a bunch in this one to uh, your TPMS stuff. And here we want to do TPMS menu. Um, and we're going to disable that right here. So go ahead and edit selected and disable. And what this is going to do is this is going to keep the instrument cluster for um, from looking for that information because technically you could still scroll over with your steering wheel buttons and you could look for the tire information and it just wouldn't be there. So we're going to disable it completely. And now we don't have to worry about TPMS sensors at all. We'll never have any warning lights or anything like that. Um, while we're in here, I'll go ahead and show you one extra step, um, which is going to be back in your body control module configuration. And this is how you can change the PSI of your tires of when your TPMS sensors um, are working. So if you want to keep your sensors, you're going to scroll back down here to placard PSI. This is for your front and rear tires. So you can actually change that information if you want to. If you're running E-load um, on your small truck and you want to upgrade that number um, or downgrade that number, you know, if you're running an E-load tire with a max, max PSI of 80, you may be running closer to 28. Um, so anyway, there's that setting right there. So uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. If you have any questions or if there's some more things that you want me to cover as far as um, options and stuff, just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.